It is breaking news out of Lancaster County. I'm Joel D. Smith. This is a massive three alarm fire we got to tell you about. A well known antique warehouse is the location and it's happening in the borough of Columbia. CBS 21's Maxine Rose live on the scene. Uh, we hear that someone has been injured as well in this fire. What's the very latest? Tell us. Yeah, we're here on Chestnut Street where you can see the building here behind me, this ginormous antique warehouse, Columbia PA antique shops completely destroyed. Now firefighters are still on scene right now, uh, but they're just in the process of cleaning up. But I want you to take a look at the damage here. Just take a look at the roof at the top, completely, completely gone. And also the windows, you can look, take a look at the windows here. They're completely warped in from the heat. We also have water spraying all over the ground here. And just about a half hour ago as well, firefighters were still working to put out the smoke, whatever is left here with water. Now it seems as though they have stopped and the smoke has died down a little bit, but before it was a massive fire that people say they could see from miles away. The neighbors we spoke with today say they just could not believe what they were seeing. I drove up Chestnut Street right past the fire and there was nothing there. Like nothing was on fire. By the time I got home in the driveway, opened the trunk, looked up and there was a big black mushroom cloud out of nowhere. It was a huge building and it was filled with so many people's livelihoods that their, their passions. Um, the hours and hours that they would spend going and looking for things and bringing it together for people who love to antique collect. And, and that right there, that was the friend of the owner here at this antique shop. He tells me that there are so many memories there and he feels the heartbreak and the loss of this building here in this community. We also spoke, spoke with the owner tonight and he tells us that he is just absolutely devastated by the loss here. They say that they've been here for quite some time and they have many of their own memories in here um, and employees as well and they're just working through this tonight. Now, the call did come in tonight at 8.30 and the assistant fire chief tells us that multiple neighboring stations helped, uh, helped them tonight, but they're still learning more about what happened here tonight and so they say they're asking people for photos and videos to help them in this investigation. Joel D. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Maxine Rose on the scene of that fire tonight.